Hmm. Do you ever ask yourself this question? Um, what camera should I buy? What uh, color corrects the best? And there's just so many options out there from black magic to red to airy. Which one's best for me? And in reality, it comes down to price and what your clientele is. Uh, some shoots may require red, uh, some shoots may require uh, black magic, or if you're a Canon fan, if you like the Canon C200, Canon C300, Canon 100, even a 100 Mark II, uh, it's still a great option for that run and gun type camera. So, but then when you think about color profile or picture profile, a lot of factors come into play. I like Canon profiles just as much as I think I like Black Magic profile. Uh, each particular camera handles things a certain way. Uh, Canon handles skin tones a different way compared to Black Magic. Same thing with Red, same thing with Eerie. A lot of people say Black Magic skin tones really uh, compare really well to Eerie. Uh, but then again, you're talking about two big price differences. Uh, in that respect, one's like a four or five thousand dollar camera, that one's thirty thousand dollars and up. Uh, so, really, again, the price comes in a factor. But for me, I think uh, it color correction or color profile, I would say color profile, picture profile, however you want to say it, both are I think the same. Uh, to me, it, it comes down to really the clientele you have and what kind of shoots do you do. Uh, there, for instance, uh, I've had, been on shoots where I think the Canon C100 Mark II makes sense because it's a running gun. I can throw a nice 18 to 135 millimeter lens on there and maybe have a 50 millimeter in my bag for a nice shallow depth uh, 1.8 talking head. Uh, or times where I'm just shooting like a short film and a black magic makes perfect better sense to me. Uh, so... Can you go wrong with one camera over the other as far as picture profile slash uh, color profile? I don't. I don't think you can. Uh, I think it comes down to to a preference. Uh, it really, and also I think uh, workflow. What kind of workflow are you able to handle, especially if you're doing all the shooting editing yourself? Uh, you know, me. I would lean towards if you have a small budget. I would lean towards a Canon and Black Magic. Uh, both are great camera manufacturers. Uh, Blackmagic comes from the post-production side of things. Uh, to where Canon definitely has that autofocus feature on all their cameras. Uh, skin tones are pretty good, uh, but so are Blackmagic. So for me, I think it depends on what kind of look you're going for. Because uh, I can go, I go either way in that in that regard. I, I lean, I think, more towards the Blackmagic side because I'm used to it. But there's certain instances where I can lean towards a Canon. And again, it goes down to the post-production side. What's your workload like? Is it just you? Do you have some editing for you? Are you shooting a 4K or shooting 1080? Uh, so many factors, I think, come in to, to play too. But when it comes down to picture profile slash color profile, I think it's it's a preference um, and for what kind of look you're, you're you're trying to go for, and also what what your clientele. Is it uh, films? Is it your corporate audiovisual? Is it your live events? Because that's also going to play a factor. Obviously, now you do have the Parasonic Varicam lineup, uh, which is very, very intriguing. But, again, you're going up to $20,000-plus or more in that lineup, even though uh, the detail and the, the, the color and the skin tone and everything, it's really nice in, 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 in that Parasonic Varicam lineup. Uh, but if you want to try to achieve that, I think your best bet is to go black magic. Uh, but if you don't have a lot of time to uh, color correct a lot of stuff, your next option may be go towards a Canon route, where you can really customize your your picture profile in your camera, get it to where you want it. That way, you just do a, a little bit of uh, post production grading at, at the end of it, or maybe you don't have time and you just kind of get the best look you can in camera during your interview process uh, whatever you're shooting um, so that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in, in this video so far hopefully I didn't uh, confuse anyone hopefully I didn't go too fast for everyone uh, I think it's something you should kind of think about and that's what I was kind of thinking about today was was that and because um, I know that's just one factor 
uh, that plays amongst all other factors because uh, that one factor then sways in another factor. So, for example, I want this particular this particular look, like I want, say, for example, an airy look. Well, your next best bet, if you can't afford an airy, that price range, go down to Black Magic. Or let's say, okay, well, Black Magic, it's um, a little above my, my range, uh, a really, really small budget. Okay. In that case, if you want some fast turnaround and, and that handles skin tones and everything else pretty pretty decent, go to the Canon route. Or again, you can go to the Panasonic GH5, GH4, for more, I would say, that, that compact uh, camera. It comes back to, um, again, it comes back to your, your price range, uh, what's your clientele, what are you trying to achieve. And also, in a way, the color profile, picture profile is kind of, uh, I think sometimes, uh, it's, a, it's subjective, but it's also, I think, it's, it's a preference, too. Because across all pla all camera platforms, you can achieve a really, really good look, uh, regardless if it's Canon, uh, Sony, Panasonic, um, Fuji, I think I throw Fuji in there, too, uh, Blackmagic, and, and Aerie, and, and Red, of course. Uh, Red's going to be the, the highest price. Um kind of didn't throw, didn't throw Sony in there because to me personally um, Sony's video still looks too video-y in their new new stuff. Um, I was really pleased with the Sony FS100 because uh, I did use a custom profile which worked out good for me. Um, that's not to hinder the rest of Sony's lineup because when it comes to low light <laughs> Sony is is the king of low light in that in that respect but as far as color grading for me, personally, um, I would say uh, it's it's a toss-up between Canon and, and Blackmagic. I mean, if someone gave me an area red, would I take it? <laughs> you bet I would. Uh, so really, those are kind of the, the key points. I think um, when you talk about color grading and picture profiling, and then you have to mix in the budget and your footprint, all those combinations c come into play, really. So I just want to... Uh, do this video real quick for you guys kind of get you thinking about that because i don't think a lot of people think about that i think people think of the brand and then the price or some people think of the price and then the brand or both before they even think about picture profile color profiles what the workflow is going to be like etc 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 uh so i just wanted to shoot this video real quick and kind of just kind of throw that in the back of your mind and kind of get you thinking about it so um that is it for this video, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.